But, but like, but if everyone's overtuned, then nobody no is. <laughs> Thank you, Syndrome. You're still providing that very cynical wisdom as we move on to some of the newer members of the metagame, and the newest even, uh, if you count Sora, depending on how good you think Sora is. I think it's pretty cool. I but think, uh, I think he's pretty good, rather. Uh, the, <laughs> either way, it is a different beast in doubles all across the board, which is why we're seeing that Yoshi come in as well. And it's going to be a, it's going to be an air-to-air -air fair yeah. for the entirety of this game. So what may be the difference maker is which one of uh, many of these characters or many of these teams find the best means of anti-airing. Yeah, and it looks like we're going to see the. Freezaga? I don't know. Uh, Blizzaga, yeah. Blizzaga? I'm bad with Kingdom Hearts. Uh, <laughs> almost it's came to Edgeguard Final Fantasy. It's okay. Okay, I'm bad at Final Fantasy then. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, we're falling under the stage, which calls to the first F SD for C Live, which is great since uh, it really felt like Blitz NY was going to fall early to an Edgeguard. But still, high percentages getting all over the place as that up smash comes out. And with Yoshi's raw hit kill power, uh, excuse me. Uh, Blitz Luigi's may, stock may not be far from far behind. Something I'm really excited about is, as we were talking about, Sora is the latest DLC character, and people have been ta the top players have been talking about how Sora needs to more so be developed. Uh, no one really knows how good they are, and I'm really curious to see how they're going to be doing in doubles because I feel like you're not gonna. No one's really played this character. And they haven't been out for that long, and they haven't developed. So in doubles, it'll be very interesting to see how they can do. I feel like they have a lot of strong tools. Uh, their crazy, like, air mobility, uh, the double jump, their projectiles are all really good and just have a lot of range to them. Broken recovery. Uh, so I feel like this character is going to be really strong for it, and paired up with Yoshi, it's going to be a really hard match for uh, Blitz and Blitz. And they have the, you know, the real troublesome thing here is that Mega Man does so good at punishing people for jumping haphazardly, yeah. which ends up being what Sora uh, does quite often, unfortunately often, especially in a given situation like this. As the forward match from Philly comes out, and they clean up the stock oh. after C Live drops theirs. A whole oh. lot of stops dropping, and it ends up resolving into an even stock tank. Hey, I blinked for a second. What the heck just happened? Everyone's stock is gone. What the heck? I mean, Philly is out here looking for blood, which is the best part about Yoshi and doubles in a lot of ways. Being able to reliably kill with forward air, with up air, with back air, like with neutral air even. Just, it's a very strong position in a lot of uh, regard for, uh, for Yoshi to do a lot of cleanup, especially since Sora, no shortage of damage output. That up air does 12 by itself, and you're never getting just one. <laughs> It, it's so crazy. Oh, going over shield break there from the down B and able to capitalize with the F smash. Blitz and Blitz on their left stocks, but Philly is going to lose there shortly after. Everybody even stock count. Pretty even game overall. Sora is off stage though. Will Blitz Luigi be able to capitalize and edge guard? Oh, Ooh. that was so good from Blitz Luigi doing their best to cover a lot of the Sonic Blade to ledge. And now we're seeing a 2v1 with Philly needing to focus either on an edge guard or finding some way to close out this stock on Blitz Luigi. But this damage is no, uh, isn't no stranger to how Yoshi can put up these juggles. No double jump though, forcing a land Ooh. and forcing the trade as well. Great positioning from Philly to go to platform when Blitz uh, NY did not expect it. Philly is playing him out of their mind right now. They are able to just keep up with this 2v1 and it doesn't even seem like a 2v1. They are keeping them separated and doing racking up crazy amounts of damage right now. Oh, the fall the uppers. And then transitions and into the down air. That was so good. Like, again, it's coverage. It's about expecting expectation of Ooh. when your opponent is going to come in. Got to be careful of these sweep shields. But at this point, Yoshi has the highest survivability on screen right now. What oh, the oh, heal. The heal makes a lot of sense. I didn't even think about that. Charging F smash to be able to heal Ness? That's crazy. Oh, they're fine. They yeah. are fine. All right. They're fine with the bounce. I wasn't sure if they were going to get the bounce in time. Ooh. Quite barely missing that spot dodge there, but is going to lose the stock. Philly doing amazing there at the end. That was a really close cool set. That was getting surprisingly close, and all it would have taken if uh, if they got that edge guard early on Ness, forcing a very deep recovery, then that could have been a 1v1 in a very precarious spot, but sent already so high and at 130, you're gonna get a boost in height regardless as the air tornado, or the air shoot shooter, excuse me, comes in just in time. 
Oh, looks like and both of them are hey. very, very <laughs> shaking hard. hands. Yeah. Let's go. Like both of them kind of relieved that they were able to push themselves out of that one. And they're changing their controls. Hello? Strange. I am not sure if someone messed up the controls. Maybe they're swapping <laughs> characters and they have different control scheme for it. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's... At least I'm not making a me. Like I that would like yeah, I'm gonna make my me mid game. Sorry guys. <laughs> I love it. Look at this. Edge the people game, who like way. bring amiibos, like the me amiibos, to tournaments oh. so that they can just like plop it on. Oh, that's handy. That's like it's smart. Uh, Look at like multiple stops drop here. Like, oh like, my gosh. It's I love it when players like of course coming into doubles you need like a plan. You need to start understanding like when both team uh, how to how to play off of each other. Uh, well, but at the end of the day, what it is so strong is the ability to uh, be aware of a situation, be aware of the the stage. And if your opponent is going to put themselves in up smash lag or down smash lag, whatever it happens, following up from that is incredibly potent. And I know that we've currently had this debate going on, or there's currently like a Twitter debate oh, okay. uh, about how Squad Strike versus Doubles and which one should be like the main side event and blah 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 whatever. That's hard. Um, both of them have their own unique thing. Some people like Doubles, some people like Squad Strike. Both are amazing. It's definitely like Doubles is so interesting on like how much you need to know and just like be able to, you have to work with somebody else. You have to know so much about like multiple characters, how your character works with the other character. Uh, different like things, synergies, plans. It's insane the amount of knowledge and like effort goes into doubles. And there's a lot for Squad Strike too. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not saying oh we should get rid of Squad Strike, but doubles is just so insane. And yeah. I, I think the difference lies in that Squad Strike keeps things individual, yeah. while doubles you have that edit, the added chaos of three different people instead of just one. Either way, small battlefield is going to be the pick here, and if you're trying to reduce survivability, this can certainly do that. Though, winning in scrambles, I feel like generally favors Ness. So if you're blitz, uh, if you're blitz and Y, you're feeling pretty good about uh, this position here, about the stage choice, and about the uh, the spot that you find yourself in. Looks like we are going to be seeing a very explosive game. Everybody's just kind of battling each other, like brawling, scrapping. Uh, Philly is in a pretty bad position, but it looks like they're not going to capitalize off it. Uh, looks like we are off stage. Not quite going to get the counter there. But Sora Uppy was able to punish the uh, Uppy of Nessus. He had a counter. He chose not to go for it, but he had the counter attack available, which Ooh. ignores the invulnerability of PK Thunder. And you have to, you have to wonder. Hey, that stop just went by. Uh, Blitz Luigi is still. Uh, Blitz Luigi ends up taking uh, taking the stop on C Live, and suddenly it's a it's a, at least a one stop swing here, which could have been completely avoided. Looks like everyone's kind of all clumped together again. Ooh, able to heal himself there with the down B. Philly off stage, not quite going to be able to capitalize though. And Blitz's his shield there, looking a little bit low. Shout out to Blitz Luigi going for the footstool out of footstool leaf blade out of shield, which was just super clean Dumb. in order to get out of there. And Ooh. the stop drop from Sora, fast falling while trying to grab ledge, and that uh, will not do it. And yeah. man, look at Blitz Luigi just. Three stocks still, holding on at 126, and many other, everybody else is either on their last stock or struggling to get uh, deep into their second as the stock just, uh, just then drops. Yeah, and I have to say, c Live for a second there was looking a little bit desperate uh, after SDing for a second, and then immediately just charging F Smash and not able to capitalize off it, was able to take a good chunk of damage. And again, we're seeing more and more damage racked on. And the team kill, unfortunately, comes out. Philly, 149, last stock due to shared stocks. Not looking in a great position for them. But they are able to take that stock, so maybe I'm wrong. I, they could definitely do this. Yeah. We saw Philly last game able to keep that 2v1 uh, in very close until last hit. So Yeah, it was a very different situation, though. Being at 140 and you can't go for many of these Sora loops that you would normally want to, that Nair 1-2 up air is all that you're going to get. And the verticality of these combos from both sides is going to be a lot more difficult. Love that IDJ up air. Hits, uh, hits super low. Able to catch him with the up B. And the Blizzaga not quite can break the shield, but does a ton of damage. 
Yeah, he has to play offensive off of ledge, and that's so what difficult. A nice there. Because even if that, even if they grab the ledge there, that spike still connects. I don't know if it would hit the spike hitbox, but it absolutely would have forced a tech situation. And man, like it's, it's really you're feeling very stuck as we see the a couple stocks drop here. But you're feeling very stuck in positions like this, where you're at 149. You want to play aggressive. You want to use Yoshi's weight. But you also know that Ness's, uh, Ness's dash attack is just so good at closing out stocks on the ground. And then in a spot like this, like you use the IDJ up here. here. Like you use, that, uh, you use that move in order to attempt and the counter as well to, po to try and poke. It's like it's, you're trying to be offensive and you're trying to be in a position of strength for Sora where you're off stage, you're using that double jump effectively, and you're covering a lot of space, but there's two of them. Yeah. <laughs> it's a whole lot harder when there's it's, an added body. It's, yeah, like